So, uh, just to prove to you that I wasn't lying, uh, and you actually can take an Oldsmobile seat controller and turn it into a Atari 2600 controller, or if you wire it up differently, you could use it on a MAME device on your computer or your Mac or PC or whatever. So here's what I did. is um, You can see it's all wired up. I don't have a fancy case on it yet, and these wires are awful stiff, so it's a little ridiculous, but it actually works. So to show you, I'm going to hit the button to start, and you'll notice on the screen I've got Ms. Pac-Man. And you'll notice that I am using the controller here to actually play Ms. Pac-Man. This little joystick right here in the that I'm using right now is actually kind of a terrific little joystick. It's uh, set up very nicely for four-way kind of games like this. The little switch here I have as an alternate up and down in case you, you want to use it as up and down as well. I couldn't wire it in for a button. That's why I had to put this little... Uh, accessory button on here, but it actually works really well as an Atari controller. And uh, one other little tip I'll give you, if you're doing anything like this, the game I recommend testing with, I'll show you, is actually the game Berserk, and I'll explain why. Berserk, of course, classic arcade game. If you play the very first game on Berserk on an Atari, all you have to do is get rid of, you can use a regular joystick for this part, just get rid of these robots at first, and in the very first level, they won't come back. So what that lets you do after all the robots are gone is basically, once they're all dead, you'll just have an empty room where you, your little man, can go all the major directions. And the robots are nice and stupid. There he goes. So now, the robots are gone. In this first level, Evil Auto, the big bouncing smiley face won't come. So you have unlimited time to try up, down, left, right. You can try your fire button. You can try the combinations for diagonals. All that good stuff. And that's, so that's what I'd recommend if you're doing this for an Atari. So you'll see, basically the point is, this works. This was from an Oldsmobile Cutlass Cruiser. This was designed to move the seats back and forth. And now we're using it to play ridiculous old video games. In short, the dream of the internet realized. <laughs> Alright everybody, uh, thanks again for everything. Keep reading Jalopnik.